Another common pattern that you may want to build out is having a split screen. As you can see, when I resize my screen, the content is vertically centering if there is space for it to do so, and the screen is split so that portion of the screen is showing my image and a portion of a screen is showing the text. There are a lot of ways that you can modify this particular technique to build all sorts of things, but let me show you how easy it is to build something like this. Here's the starting HTML. I have a section element and it wraps around an image and an article. Inside the article, I have some text-based content. In regards to my starting CSS, I have some styles that have been applied to the various elements that we see on the page. I am making the image appear in a circular fashion and I have a border and a drop shadow applied to it. I also have some styles on my text-based elements. What we are interested in doing though is setting up this page so that it displays in the split screen format. In order to do that, all we need to do is add a little bit of flex to the section element. So I'm going to go ahead and add display flex. I'm going to add a gap of two M's. We're going to use align items center and justify content center as well. That's it. If we refresh, you can see that now I get my side by side split screen layout. And as I resize my page, the content is going to continue to display in this format. This is a quick, an easy way of creating a layout like this. You'll find all sorts of ways in which you can use flex, and sometimes it's just going to take a couple lines of code to get the results that you want.